All right, so this is where we left off um, in class. So um, so we were using uh, double integrals to find volumes. And now here we're going to use the double integral um, to find the area. So there should actually be an equal sign right here. Okay, so if I'm given a region, uh, we can find the area of the rectangular region using the double integral of 1 dA. Okay. So that will help us find the area of a particular region. So what we mean by that is that if I want to look at the xy plane, and maybe I have x values of 1 to 2, and then y values from maybe 3 to 5, then this region right here, this area, can be found using a double integral. Okay, so it's just a really nice application. So uh, let's go ahead and, and figure out why that that is. Okay, so let's first do the double integral formula and then we'll figure out what exactly we're actually doing. So, so I want to find the area of the region R and X is between 0 and 3 and Y is between 0 and 2. So all I'm going to do is to find the area of the region is I'm going to take the double integral of 1 and then I'm just going to write dx dy, it doesn't really matter. So my x in this case will be from 0 to 3, and my y in this case will be from 0 to 2. So this will give me the integral from 0 to 2. So I'm taking the integral with respect to x first, okay? The integral of 1 is just x from 0 to 3, dy. So you can see this will be 0 to 3, the first to 2, and this is just going to be 3 dy. All right, and now all we're really going to do is just take the integral of this guy. So you're going to get 3y, okay, and this is going to be from 0 to 2. 3 times 2, which gives me 6. And you can see why this is true, right? So if you think about, whoops, okay, if you think about the region itself, from zero to two in the x uh oh it's say zero to three in the in the x direction, zero to two in the y direction, you can see that this is just a rectangle, right? With a uh width and a height of, of three and two respectively. So if you look at length times width, this will just give me an area of six. Okay. Now why does the double integral work? Well, think about it this way. Imagine that you now have a height. let's say you have x, y, and z. So x is from 0 to 3, y is from 0 to 2. Okay, kind of like how we were doing it. But imagine now that we have a height of 1. And that's basically where this 1 is coming from. So this 1 is just imagine that you have a plane. So that imagine that that's just the equation of the plane right at 1. Let's see if I can draw it. So there's the plane z equals 1, and imagine that you're just projecting that plane on here, or projecting that box on the plane, okay? So basically what you're finding is a volume, but the height of this volume is going to be 1. So you can see that the you were looking at the rectangular prism, so v equals length times width times height you'll see that the length and the width is just 3 and 2, but the height is always going to be equal to 1. So you're still getting that area. Uh, you're just setting the height equal to 1. So that's the, a way that you can kind of think about it. So you'll always yield the area of a region um, using this double integral formula. So you'll see that this will be useful in certain occasions. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right. So, so that's just the area of a region.